We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this. It is the most mysterious object in the universe, a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down, a cosmic trap from which nothing escapes, not even light itself. For decades, scientists have asked the question, what's inside a black hole? And now, thanks to a combination of groundbreaking theory and cutting-edge observation, we may finally have an answer. Black holes are the ultimate Houdinis of the cosmos. They hide their secrets behind an event horizon. Cross it, and you never come back. But now, with modern physics, we can begin to peek behind that curtain. For centuries, black holes were only a mathematical curiosity predicted by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in 1915. Back then, even Einstein himself doubted they could exist in reality, but the math was clear. If a star, much larger than our sun, collapses under its own gravity, its matter compresses to a point of infinite density called a singularity. This singularity is surrounded by the event horizon, a boundary beyond which no signal, no matter how fast, can return. The escape velocity here exceeds the speed of light. That's why black holes appear completely black against the cosmic backdrop. For decades, we thought of them as cosmic vacuum cleaners, devouring anything that wandered too close. But in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking revolutionized the way we think about them. Hawking's equations showed that black holes are not entirely black. They emit a faint thermal radiation, now called Hawking radiation. This suggested that black holes could slowly evaporate over unimaginable timescales. But that discovery led to an even bigger mystery. If black holes evaporate, what happens to the information about everything they have swallowed? Does it vanish forever, violating the laws of quantum mechanics? Or is there some hidden way nature keeps track of it? This is called the information paradox. It's the greatest crisis in theoretical physics today. We have two of our most successful theories, Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics, giving us completely opposite answers. And somewhere inside a black hole, the truth lies. The problem is, of course, we can't literally travel into a black hole to investigate. The extreme gravity would spaghettify any matter, stretching it into thin atomic strands. Time itself slows to a crawl as you approach the event horizon. From the outside, you'd seem to freeze in place. But from your perspective, you'd plunge inward in seconds. For decades, we've been stuck with theories, simulations, and indirect observations. But in the last few years, something remarkable happened. In April 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration released the first ever image of a black hole, the supermassive giant at the heart of galaxy M87, 55 million light years away. It wasn't a close-up of the singularity, but a shadow, the glowing ring of hot gas swirling just outside the event horizon. For the first time in human history, we saw the mouth of the abyss. But Michio Kaku and other physicists believe we're only scratching the surface. With new technology and a few radical theories, we may be on the verge of finally discovering what's inside a black hole. And the answer could rewrite the laws of reality itself. To understand what's inside a black hole, we have to go beyond Einstein. We have to blend gravity with the bizarre world of quantum mechanics. And that's where Michio Kaku's theories come into play. Michio Kaku, one of the founders of string field theory, believes black holes are not just bottomless pits. They may be gateways to other universes, storage vaults for cosmic information, or even holographic projections. String theory suggests that what we think of as particles are actually tiny vibrating strings of energy. And in this framework, black holes could be higher dimensional objects, what we call brains, that hold the quantum blueprint of everything they consume. In other words, when matter falls into a black hole, it might be encoded on the event horizon itself. This is the holographic principle, an idea pioneered by physicists like Gerard Tuhuft and Leonard Susskind. 
According to it, everything that falls in is recorded on the surface, like data on a cosmic hard drive. This would solve the information paradox, because the information never truly disappears, it's just transformed. But the story gets stranger. If black holes store all this data, could we read it? Not with today's tech, but quantum physics offers some wild possibilities. In 2022, a breakthrough experiment at Google's Quantum Lab simulated a simplified version of a black hole using a quantum computer. The researchers used entangled qubits to mimic how information might pass through a black hole and come back out via something called a wormhole. This is the first time we've seen a laboratory system behave in a way that mimics a wormhole. It's like creating a baby black hole in the lab, not to destroy the Earth, but to test the mathematics. If black holes are indeed quantum objects, they may not have a singularity at all. Instead, the center could be a Planck star, a super-compressed ball of energy where quantum pressure resists total collapse. In this model, black holes could eventually explode in a final flash, releasing their stored information. Others believe the core could be a bridge to another universe, a so-called Einstein-Rosen bridge. This would mean falling into a black hole in our universe could spit you out in an entirely different one. This is why I say black holes are the ultimate test of our theories. Whatever is inside, it will force us to unify relativity and quantum mechanics. And when we do, we will have what Einstein spent the last 30 years of his life searching for, a theory of everything. So, what's inside a black hole? The answer may be a holographic data vault, holding the history of everything it has eaten, a quantum star poised to explode, or a gateway to a parallel reality. And thanks to the latest astronomical observations, we might be able to test these possibilities very soon. For the first time in history, we're not just imagining what's inside a black hole, we're building the tools to find out. The Event Horizon Telescope is getting a massive upgrade. With new receivers, faster data links, and more telescopes joining the network, scientists hope to capture real-time videos of matter swirling into black holes. This could let us watch gas, dust, and even stars disappear beyond the event horizon. At the same time, gravitational wave detectors like LIGO and Virgo are giving us an entirely new way to listen to black holes. When two black holes collide, they send ripples through space-time. By analyzing these waves, scientists can probe the nature of their interiors, looking for hints that defy Einstein's equations. If there's something strange inside, like quantum fuzz or wormhole tunnels, it might subtly change the gravitational wave signal. We're already looking for those fingerprints. There's also NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which can peer deeper into galactic cores than any previous instrument. It's already spotted supermassive black holes forming in the early universe just 500 million years after the Big Bang. Understanding how they grew so fast could reveal something about what they really are inside. Meanwhile, in the realm of pure theory, physicists are exploring the firewall hypothesis. The idea that instead of a smooth crossing into the event horizon, you'd hit a wall of searing energy. If true, that would change everything we thought about the inside of a black hole. In science, the most exciting phrase is not Eureka, it's that's funny. Every time we see something that doesn't match our predictions, it's a clue. And black holes are giving us the biggest clues of all. So have we finally found what's inside a black hole? The honest answer is we're closer than ever. We have theories, we have simulations, and for the first time we have direct images. The walls are closing in on the mystery. And maybe, 
just maybe, when we finally solve it, we won't just learn about black holes, 